Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 504. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 502 to 505. Hey, someone asked, um, how do we do this 3D formatting? I guess it used to be in uh, uh, auto format tables, um, so we'll see how to do that. First thing is, uh, we want a dark line down here. So we want dark lines there. All the way, and all the way around the outside. And then we have to apply white and black alternative uh, border colors uh, to make it look three-dimensional. So I'm going to highlight the whole range here. Control-1 is the keyboard shortcut for format cells. I'm going to go to Fill first, and we'll select, say, that. Now, Borders. Now, here's how it works. Select a line, select a color, and draw. So I'm going to select this one. And I want an outline. I can use that button right there. But notice, if there's two other options, there's horizontal and vertical. And what these mean are inside lines. Notice there's only one inside line. So we want to click here like that. We do not want to click the horizontal, which would be right there. We do not want that one, because then it would uh, color all those lines. So click OK. So now we have the um, basic now. We need just as we see over here, a white, and then skip a whole line and another white, and then skip a whole line and another white. So the white, in essence, has to be on the top of this whole. Um, right there, it's got to be. We somehow got to draw a white line there, draw a white line there, draw a white line there. Highlight, hold Control, highlight again, hold Control, highlight again. Notice these are not next to each other, non-contiguous ranges. But each one of these highlighted ranges only want the top to be white. Control-1. I come over here and select my color, my line. Select my color in this order. If you don't do it in this order, it doesn't work. And then draw your line. Now, I guess it's kind of hard when it's white, because you can't really see that it's there. But we'll trust that it is there. Click OK. OK, so that's now that's working. Now we want a dark one on the bottom there and a dark one on the bottom there. So there and there. Now on the bottom, Control-1, select my line, select my color, and click on the bottom. And so there we go. We get our 3D effects. All right, we'll see you next trick.